All right, ladies and gents, it is your caster and host from iCup StarCraft TV. It will be iCup Fitz here. And without further ado, let's get into our match here. This replay comes to us from the Clan League from iCup Clan League Season 22, week number two between Salvation Army and UPro Legends, both the gaming team. Spawning in the top, top left hand corner, it'll be Salvation Army's Yeti as our purple protest running at the 11 o'clock position on Longinus and his opponent as the Red Zerg spawning down here in as the Red Zerg. It'll be UPro Legends multi gaming team's smile who just was a macro champ and being unrelentless in the mid late mid late stages of the mid game. An overwhelmed Protoss. Do not mind the white spec, as that is a Terran Ob player who just killed himself off. And he said, good luck, have fun, and he has just left the game. And all that good stuff, as I'm assuming he is a host. And check it. Got that nice rally point right there. Right, right there. Good point. But anyway, Longinus, yeah, not really... It's, it's, it's pretty much an entirely flat map, if I recall. Not that I don't think it plays a super... I mean, obviously, you know, I, I don't think there's a whole lot of one basing and uh, with Protoss anymore. And I mean, you can if you want to do a not a Forge FE, but... Generally, you will get an expansion. So I, I really doubt it, and really, Zergs don't really... Unless Zerg does their... Two hatchery hydra play, which is impossible for them to do now because they didn't get their pool up fast enough. It's really not going to be a, a, any kind of wor uh, worry, uh, any kind of problem, I, I don't think. Zerg checking out that it will be a forge fast expand right here. Longness is pretty long in its distances right here. Um, the other map layouts are kind of these, uh, it's kind of rampy and hilly in the uh, center of the map, so that can play to be a uh, position game sometimes. Um, Zerg, I, it, it, to position as uh, uh, to well position the Zerg army is incredibly difficult because you have so many units to throw at your opponent or position or attack with your opponent. Um, we'll see. And Zerg will be scouting the uh, scouting back down here for any kind of proxy locations potentially, um, or going to be throwing down the third, of course. And it looks like there that will happen indeed. You're not scouting. What am I? A noob? from last year not knowing anything about this game? Or is it a year from around my first cast date? So I think I'm actually, I think it's like almost my first year finally casting StarCraft. I think, if I'm not mistaken. So that's how far we've gone. I believe the first tournament I ever saw was the Explit Random, Random Invitational. Can I not like move up like that? Okay, fine. Apparently I have to use the arrow keys when I'm doing widescreen, apparently. Oh, fine. Protoss going to be grabbing their gas because they will be throwing down their cyber report and will be doing their own kind of techie stuff. And as we saw from last game, Smile is going to be putting down that lair onto his natural. And we'll just see how this game will progress. Um, neither player from last game, again, they, they weren't active on the map. And to play that out versus a Zerg as a Protoss, I mean, that's not really how you want to play that. Um, I mean, in a way, if you're not even going to be, you know, super active. I mean, it, it might have just been, I mean, I might just have only seen, and this might just be purely objective of what I've uh, of what I've seen. And of course, I could be completely wrong. But what it appeared to me was that Yeti didn't, what, didn't get a whole, didn't do a whole lot of use with his Corsair. Um... And maybe it was just because he got shut down because of it by you know, Smile, or he was just too preoccupied elsewhere. But if you're not even going to use the Corsair, then, you know, do it to skip um, Stargate time. I mean, that's what it looks like. Good. No. I was going to say, he could, I mean, if you're not even going to use the Corsair for some reason, then why even bother going them? I mean, try to go something else if you're going to push with it. I mean, of course, I get it. I get no, I get standard. But I mean, if you're just not going to use them for that match, it seems odd to get it. But of course, it's kind of like it's a double-edged. 
Or it's like you 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 cannot go it, but then you're kind of like at vulnerable risk to go expire for the Zerg player to go Mutalisks, and that's generally why players don't go Mutalisks because of the Corsair, because they're so hard to deal with as long as the Protoss is, you know, has them on the map. So maybe I'm reading too much in this. Maybe I should just shut up right now and let's tell you what's going on in this game. So anyway, um, Spire is being thrown down in re reaction to, in response to the standard build of going the Stargate. And uh, no plus one uh, currently yet from our Protoss buddy. And Protoss will verify that this third base has been thrown up right here. And now we do have the fourth and fifth hatchers going on here. So it will be some sort of Hydra play. Uh, does that mean he be aggressive with it? Or does that mean he will be... Oh, this could be broken later on. If he decides to get a Dark Archon Protoss, and that would be pretty intense. I, I wouldn't buy. Uh, but we're starting to add the gateways now. Getting, getting more stuff right here. Hydrogen is being thrown down. And the Evo Chamber is being thrown down. So, uh, we just, oh, so things are, looking, you know, things are looking pretty much identical. Again, I did hear some pew 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 pewing going on right here. So, Noble Lord will crash and burn into the ground right there. His little bits and guts. And... Yep, and he does have his Templar Archives already on the way, so he could go whatever he feels like going. And he's going to... He did... The, this is almost looking like a mimic of last game. Like, I'm clicking around, and I'm like... He saw, like, two DTs. He have four bases for the Zerg. And, like, things are looking... I mean, if you were to compare these games, you know, just launch them both, both YouTube videos... Uh, at the same time, I'm pretty sure you could probably figure out that these builds are almost pretty much identical. And that, and by no means, that's a bad thing. We'll just see if if we can be, if Yeti can, you know, pull something off better with this uh, with uh, this build and this map versus Fighting Spirit. As Zerg will have harder times to locate these mineral onlys, while every base in uh, every base in fight in. Fighting Spirit has a gas in it, so, you know, you're not going to have that luxury of taking your third with a gas on it unless you want to go all the way down into a very double gas prone experience. Is this a, is this a, that might be an island, actually. We could take a farther off base right here, but uh, we'll see. What I was saying is, if we were to see Terran, uh, you know, mind control one of those and makes factory units, and we could have Protoss Terran versus Zerg, that would be pretty awesome. Just cough, cough, maybe. Yeti, if you see this, next time you have an OBS in there, make sure that you, it, make sure you exploit it. We do have the push coming down here for our Protoss buddy right here. I'm not really sure if can, this might be just be too much right now, but I'm not sure if he acknowledges that there is a DT there. Looks like he did know as there is some damage onto that DT. And Protoss, again, just kind of doing their thing, building up a decent amount of gateways right here. He may... I wonder if he's going to go for an expansion? Uh, yes, he will. He's actually going to be taking this expansion right down here as well. And Zerg is going to be doing... D d doing their thing. Do it, doing... I forget what that song's from, but... Oh, no, no, no. I remember. That's not a popular song at all. That's not That's not a popular song at all. So... Just forget I even started singing those words. But the point is, Zerg's in the center of the map, doing their thing. Getting map control. Protoss is going to be sending out his army to defend his third as it's such a hard location to bring into it. Uh, so what this will mean that there, he doesn't have a third gas, so you have to put that in consideration for his... for his... Uh, unit composition, which may mean more he's going to be more along the lines to maybe Zealot Archon, where it may not be super gas intensive except for the Archon. Instead of, you know, it could even be Reavers as well. Uh, well, you kind of have to see what it will go. It's probably going to be more of a heavy zealot mix than anything else until you can secure a you know another gas that happens to be over here. Zerg uh, going to be just, again, macroing up. There, again, there isn't... And it's not like I'm not paying attention to the map at all. I'm just not seeing a whole lot of purple on the map by Yeti. And, I, and I'm sorry that I can't make this game jump in too quick. I mean, the late game was sure entertaining from last game, but later I'm trying to come in here, but it looks like this game has been has been secured uh, substantially with the five cans here. I don't really see this base falling down until maybe D Swarm and, and Lings come in here or some kind of uh, 
thought uh, thought attack, then it's just you know rallying you know a dozen links to that. I don't think it's gonna die otherwise. Looks like Protoss is finally gonna be sending their arms across the map right here. Could I take this double gas right here, which would be phenomenal to take for Proton, um, as he would be off of four gas. Um, which he he which he didn't have the luxury from last game to do. So that's actually a very interesting map mechanic that they had. While you might be able to secure your mineral only third, your fourth will have double gas. Interesting. And of course, Zerk will love that too, as it looks like he may just try and take this base right now, as there was a DT over there just to deny that fifth right there, and it looks like the Queen's Dust has been thrown down. So it looks like it will be a little bit more of a delayed natural, uh, delayed high than it was last game, but by no means is that bad. And if Zerg gets this double gas fifth, that would be pretty bad. As you can see in response to this, as Protoss does not want that to happen super uh, fast at all, he will be trying to kill off these hydras, um, just delay this and maybe kill off the hatchery if it was down there, but unfortunately it wasn't there. Zerg will be, uh, Zerg will be bringing up a couple links uh, to check out this base location as well, but fortunately for him that base does not exist, but uh, this base is starting to be established right here. And we'll see if Zerg can kind of try to do that. That Now, this is kind of the force I was talking about that could probably kill off this third. But he may just know about this base already. And this base, I'm afraid, is going to be in a lot of trouble right now. Uh, with this small ramp, and if you can get the lurkers on there, that can be really bad for Protoss. But it looks like the lurkers aren't in the most optimal position as they're kind of far back right here. Nice one going down. Kill off, get on the hydros right here. And he's going to kill down this, this nexus. So that's the important thing. That, that base goes up four, four gas. Zerg is going to be super helpful, not, not quite understanding what he should do with the workers, and I think he will just spot them. And all the Hydras are stacked upon each other, and they will die to the power of the Psy Storm. And we think this did get cleaned up, and really that push didn't do a whole lot of anything. And again, I, 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 I come back and say, you utilize the lurkers to what they're used for, put them on top of a ramp make it very difficult but uh ultimately that wasn't what was going through the zerg's mind at the time and again i mean when you when you as a viewer you if you don't actually play brood war to to in the level where you're going to be this far in a game or stuff like that um you don't have a super like a fundamental ability to understand this game i guess and you're kind of just watching it because you're like want to enjoy old school brood war my videos are not or i cut videos are not uh Hold on, I'll finish this spot later. And the lurkers are coming in here. This is a lot of lurkers, keep in mind. Uh, they're gonna be barred. That's so many lurkers. Oh, but they're all stacked upon each other. The storms are absolutely magnificent on top of this army. Oh my goodness, Wings are trying to come in here. But it looks like, I, I would say that person did a pretty good job. Um, even if they lose this base, that was a well worth... I don't even know how to say that. I just feel like that was such a good engagement for Protoss. To kill off so many lurkers so quickly. And he's not even going to lose his base. Adrenal Glenn's just starting now. Yeah, this is this base is not going to happen. But, oh, a couple links are in here, but that can should be a little bit But the point what I was trying to make beforehand was the... You're so preoccupied. It's not like you can macro not at, like, not looking at your base. Oh, actually, you know, Zerg may actually get this, actually. He's target firing that Nexus down. He's going to get this base. He's going to get the double gas base. That's a huge wonder to Protoss for losing that base. That this needs to be taken back. He needs that gas to go for this, whatever his end game plan, because that extra gas is going to help him out so much to get you know a massive Archon ball, and that's why you know late game Protoss can be so powerful on this map. Um, but like I was saying, you know, going back to the point where that first engagement going in here didn't really do a whole lot. That might have been because Zerg didn't want to, you know, want, need to make an extra, you know, wave of units. It's not like you can just press E1 and have nine hatcheries selected on one hockey. Um, it, it's not, it, it's, you have to, you know, there, you need to look at your, look at, look yourself in the, uh, at the circumstances and understand, like, do I, do I micro my injury or do I just, uh, you know, send them into attack by themselves and just hope that it will do something. <laughs> Um, I guess that's how I'm trying to put it. But anyway, oh, the storm again! Yeti, oh, ow! All those workers are losing all their HP so quickly. Again, these workers are... Oh, these storms. Ow! That just hurts. Protoss. Being the ball... Being ballsy and defending. 
But again, this is getting to the point where we saw from last game where it just might be too much. And we'll see, again, Zerps is bringing so many cracklings in here now with their 1-1 upgrades right here. What's first up is only plus one. It's the 1-1 one Ling -one right here. Uh, and it looks like this base will finally start to, start to be overwhelmed by the swarm and continue more production of Lings right here. And it's just amazing how this guy could, you know, go in here, do these engagements effectively, and then back up all these units back at home and then rally them. Like, that's the sign of a very good player. And Smile, my friend, is a very good TV, TV, uh, DVP or something. And it looks like he's going to start to get the file or second step of the And it looks like that third base has been killed off. Um, he still has that base established again, but he's not mining off a double gas. And if he has an extra, that, that extra income for gas will help him unbelievably. And he's only getting about 500 gas per minute right here. So, imagine, I mean, that's probably double that. Yeah, that would be double. He'd be getting a thousand per minute. Yeah, but anyway. Storm doing good. Zerg has a good bank though to remax. So he has stabilized for the time being. I'm, I'm sure he ha well, he's, he's got another base right here as well. And I'm, I'm assuming he'll eventually take this new base right here. Unfortunately, though, there is an Archon, and uh, this would be enough to kill off a Hatcher pretty quickly. Um, but I am just amazed by Smile's play right now. Yeti. Um, seeing what he can do. Okay, he's starting to get that gas going. He probably needs more high Templar. I mean, it's. it's I mean, the, the storms that he's had this team have been brilliant, but getting the getting up the late game undestructible Archon Storm Army, uh, uh, Protoss Army, Templar Archon Army is just so powerful. And look at this, like three macro hatches. I mean, he has at least his base. I believe his main base is the only one that doesn't have a macro hatch in this base right now. So Protoss is going to be trying to look just to secure this base right now because this is, you know such a, a crucial base right now and again if he can start you know mining effectively off this fourth geyser again that can help so much but it's scary how fast he can just recuperate this army like I'm I'm I would be I'd be like all right BBS this guy because that's the only way I'm gonna beat this uh, beat him because ugh. this is like Korean like oh my god I'm in awe right now Protoss Zerg. Protoss will be trying to take this, uh, his third base that he did lose twice now? No, first time. He only lost one. And the, the Overlord will get out of there with 4 HP. And oh my goodness. Look at the, just look at the, the angles that Zerg's coming in from every which way. And I think it doesn't matter how good the Storms are here, which they are pretty good, but there's just too much Zerg right here and not enough Storm. And this base will ultimately get killed off, I believe. Even adding the Dark Swarm right here, not really going to be doing too, too much because um, he does have Storm. Actually, there's a decent amount of Storm left if he wants to use them. The Lurkers are piled up upon each other right now. Oh, and will get the second Storm off? Yes, he will. Three Lurkers will fall from the size Storm right here. And Proton still doesn't have enough. I mean, there's still, I mean, there's... There's seven Lurkers in the right box right there. Uh... Uh, yeah, it looks like Yeti's is starting to finally just not have enough. I mean, Yeti's Yeti's bank is not that great. Look, look at Smile's bank right now: forty-two thousand, seventeen thousand gas versus. I mean, Yeti could make another like you know five Templar, and that might just be enough to help you know, pull this off. But does it? Is it going to be enough to defend? Even play good. Uh, and it's just. Uh, I, I don't know what Yeti can do other than GG at this point. Zerg has, Zerg has taken upon himself to... I mean, he's droning right now. He knows that he's in the lead. He's yet to kill off these SCVs. I believe he's killed off one. Oh, and the storm right there. Beautiful. And he's mined out. He's only mining off of one base at this time. I'd be interested to know what his income for the last minute has been. And he will lose a couple of overlords right here. Um, and Zerg's not even maxed right now, which is a funny thing. Oh my goodness. Lings are coming in here versus Zelda, but they're probably, what, 3-3 three, three now? 2-1. So, uh, one thing, you know, you wanted to criticize Smile for, maybe his upgrades aren't the best, but but he not, he, he recreates his army so quickly. I don't think it really matters. It's like a minefield of workers out here. It doesn't matter how many storms you have. 
These lurkers are so evenly spread. It's kind of crazy. Oh, and finally taking this base that he hasn't realized that there's an army right here. Uh, Alright, did he pay attention to that? He may be able to deny the base. And no, he's not paying attention. He's just gonna. Yeah. He's, he's gonna get that base. I don't think I don't think Yeti's paying attention to that at all. So there we go. Yeti's trying to do attacks right here, but that Archon! That zealot right there, these two hydras might be able to do enough. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's gonna be able to secure that base, no problem. And right now, he's probably all he has to do is just make a whole lot of lings and just a whole lot of hacking. And nice play going down as well. And you'll just, the plague just makes it so like, uh, Lord of Shum's like two shot. Uh, two shot Templar. More hydras are being produced. Uh, yeah. There's so much blood red. Blood red on the map right now. Or red, rather, on the map. It's just crazy. The forge will finally start to be killed off. Moving in a little bit closer right here. All right, deep swarming as well. Uh, but these, oh, but this, the, the, the storm could be perfect. The storm will be perfect. These high, these, every single lurker <laughs> in that bunch just got completely killed off. More lanes coming in here, but a whole super low on HP. The storm is magnificent. As you can tell, this is a print. Pretty much a Templar only army, and he's still trying to hold on the skin of his teeth, and he's still doing it. But they're just they've come to a point where Smile will just have too much bank. He has that five, <laughs> almost six thousand bank. Uh, now Smile is trying to stun that down. It just doesn't matter. Five Archon being more, but the Lurker should be able to clear those up, clear those up while they're in their transformation stage or their summoning phase, excuse me. And finally, we get the GG by Yeti. <laughs> My god, that was an entertaining game. Both games, if you want to see some Zerg dominance over Protoss, go watch these games because they are fantastic. The first 10 minutes you could probably skip because it's like Protoss building up, Zerg building up. But great games anyway, guys. I mean, no disrespect for the first 10 minutes but by any means. All right, guys, I got Fitz signing out, leaving U Pro up, or leaving still U Pro down 3 1 but ultimately has given their team a point. So congratulations to Smile for doing that and taking game off of Yeti. And we're gonna win the 2x2 series. Guys, momentarily, peace. It's been real, guys. I Cup, Star Cup, Brood War, lives.